Hello, my name's Megan and I work at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah. In addition to my passion for the life-saving work that we do at Best Friends, I'm also passionate about yoga and I'm a certified yoga instructor through Yoga Works. What I love about yoga is that it can come to you at any time in your life. Whether your needs are physical, mental, you can practice yoga anywhere, everywhere. <laughs> Today we're at Marshall's Piggy Paradise in the south uh, or the lower canyon of the sanctuary. When you're working with pigs or volunteering with pigs, it's required that you wear jeans or long pants and closed toed shoes. But those of you at home, feel free to take off your shoes and socks and enjoy the freedom of bare feet. We won't need any props today. Well, maybe a wall as we'll be practicing grounding through balancing poses. So we'll go ahead and start in mountain pose. So standing with your feet hips distance apart, look down at your feet and make sure that your toes and knees are facing the same direction. You might need to wiggle your big toes in just a little bit so that the outer edges of your feet are parallel to one another. Go ahead and lift your toes away from the earth and feel yourself grounding down through the toe mound of your big toe, the pinky toe mound, and then through the center of the heel. Allow your toes to go back down to the earth, but keep that energy that you created in the arch of your foot. Allow your quadriceps to flex so that you lift your kneecaps towards your lower hip points and revolve your inner thighs behind you and then draw your buttocks down towards the earth. Allow your arms to come by your sides, palms facing forward, and widen across your shoulder blades as you press, or widen across your collarbones as you gently press your shoulder blades into your upper back body. Lengthen the back of your neck and reach through the crown of your head. This is mountain pose or Tadasana. And let's take a few moments here to allow your eyes to close and to deepen your breath. Full, deep inhale. Long, slow exhale. Continue to breathe deeply and fully. And imagine yourself a mountain with a wide, strong base and your crown reaching towards the heavens. Let's open our eyes and then turn your palms away from you. Reach your arms up overhead, reaching your fingertips towards the sky. And as you exhale, fold forward, keeping a long spine, swan dive or uttanasana towards the earth. Allow your knees to bend here, bringing your belly to rest on your thighs. We'll spend a few breaths in uttanasana, forward fold. Then inhale, bring your hands to your shins and lengthen your spine from the sacrum through the crown of your head. Broaden across your collarbones and press your shoulder blades into your upper back body. Exhale, fold forward. Soft bend in your knees, reach your arms out, reach your arms up above your head. Bring the hands to heart center as you exhale. We'll do two sun breath. Inhale, lift the fingertips towards the sky extended arms in mountain pose or tadasana exhale forward fold uttanasana inhale half lift ardha uttanasana exhale fold soft bend in the knees reach the arms out as you rise with a long spine exhale hands to heart center one more just like that inhale reach the arms up overhead exhale forward fold uttanasana inhale half lift Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, hands heart center. And then lower the arms to mountain pose. Our first balancing pose, as you stand in mountain, shift your weight into your left foot and bend the right knee so that the knee is the same height as the hip. Reach through your heel. Your toes reach up towards the sky. Breathe here and enjoy the sounds of nature. Feel the energy from your left foot through the crown of your head. Then place your right hand on your right knee and gently open the knee to the right side, continuing to balance in this modified version 
of a mountain pose. Your mind is clear, <laughs> only the sounds of nature and pigs. <laughs> Good, bring your knee back to center and place your foot down, mindful of any creatures that may be underneath. Good. Returning to mountain pose, shift your weight into the right foot and bend the left knee so that the knee is the same height as your hip. Good. Reach through the heel. And clear your mind of any thoughts or concerns, feeling only your breath and the stability of the ground beneath you. Good. Place the left hand to the left knee and open the left knee to the left side. Extra yeah. challenge when adding a pig in for distraction. It's really windy here today. <laughs> Good. And then bring the knee back to center, lower the foot to the earth. And as we take our next sun breath, I might pause and pet an adorable piggy that's available for adoption. Feel free to look at our adoption site on the Best Friends webpage. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Extended arm in mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. I think this piggy is looking for a little shade. So let's go ahead and move into tree pose or rikshasana. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend the right knee, placing the toes down on the earth. Open the right knee to the right side. Don't worry about how far you open it. Just open to what feels naturally. You might keep your leg here in this kickstand or bring your foot to rest on your calf or help your foot all the way to your upper thigh. I'm gonna stay on my calf today. Press your leg into your foot, your foot into your leg. In this tree pose, you can increase the um, balance that you need by bringing your hands first to heart center. Staying here in heart center or choosing to grow your tree, extending your branches, breathing deeply into the pose. Feel yourself rooting into the earth and then bring your hands down. come to your toes of the left foot and then open the left knee to the left side once again you can either stay in kickstand bring your foot to your calf or all the way to your upper thigh just avoid putting any pressure on your knee the hands can come to heart center or they can grow tall extending your branches in tree pose no matter if you bobble you're still working your muscles, your core, your strength and stability. All the while grounding through your deep inhalation and slow exhalation. Bring your hands down to heart center and then return to mountain pose. One full sun breath, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees, let your belly rest on your thighs so I can pet this lovely piggy. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead and bring your hands to heart center. Anjali Mudra, a position of gratitude. Allow your eyes to close, breathe deeply, through your nostrils, long, full inhale, long, slow exhale. I connect with my breath that anchors me to the present moment. I am centered, I am grounded. Thank you for sharing your practice with us. Namaste. All right, we're just gonna look how relaxed all of our little pig friends are here in Shavasana, the final resting pose. Thank you 
so much, Megan, and thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in.